So today, guys, we're, we're going to go outside. We're going to go and look at the grill. We're going to look at some equipment. We're going to talk about some safety tips and some precautions to take. One thing you want to do, guys, is make sure, as you can see, that my grill is, is covered. Covering your grill will extend the life of your grill. I don't know how many times I've spent extra money on grills. So make sure you cover it. Guys, is a, it's called a, a Texas Trio. I have smoke box, have charcoal, and then I also have the gas grill side. And one of the things about the gas grill side, you wanna make sure all your connections are tight. So let's look at some things. Let's look at some things. This chimney, chimney stack is used for lighting your charcoal. Uh, I was watching a video and they were just suggesting that you don't necessarily use lighter fluid. But if you use lighter fluid, use it very sparingly and let your charcoals get white. Over here, I have a fire extinguisher. You got to make sure you have a fire extinguisher. I have my thermometers. One of the worst things you can do is undercook your meat. Make sure you have your thermometers. And then also make sure you have the proper utensils. It don't have to be fancy. This set here I got from Walmart some time ago. And actually it was on sale, it was on clearance. So you can probably find a good deal on that. So back to the grill, back to the grill. As I stated, I have a gas side. Then I have charcoal, and then I have a smoke box. Uh, when it comes to cleaning your grill, this brush here, sometimes people use this brush, but they don't recommend it because these metal pieces come off and could possibly get stuck on your grates and get in your food. But when it comes to cleaning your grill, this is actually um, a brush that you would use after your grill is cool. This is actually a grill brush that you can use where you can scrape and clean your grates. And then every, every cook, every cook, guys, listen to me. You got to have you a apron. You got to have an apron. Amen. Another safety tip is making sure that you are a good distance away from your house. As you can see, I'm probably about five or six feet away from the house. Uh, that's another safety tip. Uh, in the comments, guys, leave any questions or any ideas that you, that, that I may, anything that I may have missed, uh, just, just uh, put them in the comments, man. Let's talk about it. I want you guys to be safe. A hot thing is about to be fired up. I just wanted to do these uh, like tutorial videos to make sure we understand about the safety and the precautions that we need to take. Uh, believe it or not, there is a science to, to grilling. Uh, and I think this grill here is one of the best grills that you can have because it, I, it's, it's, it's a trio, the trifecta. Thanks guys for viewing the video and I just pray that these safety tips and suggestions have helped you today. Hot thing will be fired up pretty soon. Uh, feel free to like, feel free to share. And I just want to thank you in advance for subscribing and just checking out the video. And this is my first time editing. So help me out. Give me some suggestions and uh, let's, we're going to be cooking soon. So I'm excited. I'm excited about cooking.